and he has the cross. He's in the perfect spot at 10 and 1. Scott is taking over game five. That was set up perfectly. Now it's down to Zed. The 1v3 slides across. Chicago make a statement. As the final seconds tick away, that does it. Chicago Hudson are your winners at the London Home Series Final. Let him make the mistake, there's 20 seconds remaining. This, to complete the reverse sweep. FaZe, rise from the dead. The resurrection is complete. Florida realize they have to go, they have to push, they need to get everything, there's no time. There's no time at all left for Florida. And Atlanta FaZe defend their city. Well, Atlanta FaZe were on that main stage not so long ago, lifting a trophy at their hometown. But Rocker have managed to force them to a game five and take that win off of them. The first team to allow FaZe to take that L on a main stage. Pretty incredible stuff here today that we have seen, gentlemen. What do you make of the way Rocker played that FaZe Atlanta team? Any, anything special coming through from them? I am genuinely in shock right now. I was in shock after that game number four, and I was completely in shock after game five. That was completely unexpected. I can't believe that just happened. I actually, I, I want to say that now I'm kind of curious how you're going to feel about this. I wanted to say that this is more than just an upset. This is a statement about how great this team is. They've managed to look great in a series against them as well. I mean, they've taken more maps off of this squad than all the other teams in the league combined. Yeah, so I think sure this is more than maps just now. Upset. Yeah, it's like yeah. five, five now. And that series right there is incredible. They won two hard points in a search and destroy. They beat them in their bread and butter. And like in the final moments, you saw how FaZe tried to push those arches and lock it down and complete it there. Well, they bought enough time. They rotated, ended it on construction. Like everybody counted out Rocker, including myself going into this series. I thought FaZe got better. I thought they were going to wipe them. They won the series. It's insane. Asim steps up big time. It was insane. My Miles didn't count them out. But welcome, everybody, to the CDL Game Day presented by Game Fuel. And we have just seen magic happen on the stage before us. Miles, I want to talk about this Minnesota Rocker team Ooh. taking down FaZe in that fashion. I must say, I, I did feel like FaZe against them looked a little bit weak. They looked like they were lacking something there. Yeah, there is the idea they're lacking something, but I actually disagree, Rich. I think it is still an upset. Oh, it's, it is. It's, it's an, an upset. upset. It's but more, it, though. Yeah, I, I, there's more, there's yeah. more if you scratch the surface down, there's deeper and yeah. deeper there. But I think genuinely, Minnesota have come close with so many good teams now, and it's a matter of time before we saw them take over. And is this the beginnings of the end? Is this, the, by that, I mean the Ragnarok uh, <laughs> for Minnesota, where they just, they start to find themselves as a squad because the potential's always been there. Is this now the start of their, their great run? And another thing that I was kind of talking about on the desk a lot with Nameless, and now I get to talk about it with you, which doesn't happen very often. Be careful. Yeah, we get the big boy mics up here. But <laughs> one, one of the things that I, I really was starting to talk about a lot was the two teams that I was saying were competing for number three, and now potentially even bigger picture than that, was Minnesota and Dallas. So now we actually get to see them go head to head. I was watching with Surge. And uh, I went to Sam and Pan or to Octane and Pander. I was like, man, God, our X is sick. And they were like, trust me, we learned that twice. <laughs> so a lot of the other teams are really starting to realize how great of a squad Minnesota is. Absolutely. We have a clear cut top four now, right? Like it's, it's yeah, Huntsman, FaZe, it's Rocker, and it's Dallas. Those are our top four teams, and any of them can win on any given Sunday. Said it a hundred times, silent assassins, that is for sure. But I've got to remind everyone, we're sitting next to a, a full-blown celebrity now. Uh, how's the hype battle, me. mate? How was the hype battle? I sat right next to Michael B. Jordan. Who wants to touch me? <laughs> What does his breath smell like? I just want to sit next to Miles Ross. I was really I can tell you now. Hate. I can tell you now, that is a wonderful human being. Not only was he extremely gracious, he was a fantastic competitor and a, and a brilliant teammate. Um, but the funniest thing about Michael is I sat down with him and he knew just as much about COD as I imagined. I understand he plays quite a lot. He sat down and he was like, hey man, you play tactical flips? And I was like, Michael, <laughs> you're my boy. <laughs> We're going to do just fine, my friend. And we really did. It was a bit of a smoking, quite literally. It was. It, of King. It, it, was, was, it was very impressive, to say the least. I, I'm really impressed with you, man. Thank you, mate. Because I was getting proud. absolutely destroyed on the desk by you twats. No, a lot of you. And Phil. Me, and Maven. I was, Listen, I was we were all just salty that, that you got to play. That's I predicted that, my, uh, that he was going to win. That's because you you're did. a real friend, Richard Campbell. I was, I was giving premium gas, Miles. And, and you know, obviously, you proved, you proved all of them wrong. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Thank you. Though. I'm really impressed. And Cheers, you know what? We need to talk about this final that we've got on our hands yeah. right now. Let's just touch upon Dallas Empire. We talked about the rocker so far, but Dallas looking fantastic as well. 
how is this going to happen? I was not expecting a Rocker Dallas final. Honestly, I was expecting a phase Dallas final, but now adjusting themselves, I think they were probably getting ready for a phase final. But now Rocker coming underneath that and and kind well, of just going in there. If you're Dallas, you're probably a little happy, right? Like going into this series, like we're going to play Rocker. Like obviously they're a great team, but you know, looking at phase, it, they're probably a bit of a scarier roster to go against. And so I think Dallas is probably a bit happy about that. But, you know, just for Dallas, they weren't able to close out games in the final moments. And those respawns, that's really where they were struggling was at the end. And it seems like they fixed it when they went up against Optic Gaming. We saw Shotzi put up a 1.14 KD in the series, which is great for that guy. He's stepping up big time. And, and to go back to what Lottie was saying, it's definitely not what they expected. We were actually outside with Crim6. I'm pretty sure you were there for that conversation. He was talking about the fact he's like, he's like, I know how to beat FaZe now. I was like, how? It's like, just ain't center lower. I was like, I don't think that's going to work, Krim. I don't think it's going to work at all. But now the question is, are they more excited to have this matchup now with Minnesota? Are they potentially a little bit less prepared for it? I will pass Clayster upstairs just as the match finished. I was running down here and he had this huge grin on his face and he just went, let's go. <laughs> like, it's that, yeah, it's yeah. that air of anticipation, excitement. Like they really did want this matchup because FaZe is still a bit of an unknown variable. But now that we've seen FaZe lose, how many more times do you think we'll see FaZe lose in these close Game 5 series throughout the whole year? I mean, do you guys feel that? I mean, is this like I mean, I just the think beginning are, of the breakdown? I think uh, beginning of the breakdown is very tough because they did just lose a Game 5 series and that Game 4 could have went their way. So I wouldn't say it's a breakdown. I just think other teams are catching up and getting a lot better, right? Like Minnesota has reps against FaZe. They know how they play. They play them the toughest and they play them again here and they're able to take them down. I just think teams are catching up and that gap is closing what we talk about let's just whip the bracket up right now for everybody at home just to have a look at how this has all come about how how have we managed to get a final dallas empire and rocker well that's why because rocker three two final one in our semi-final number two incredible stuff coming across here from rocket but i do feel like they're quite an unpredictable team like i said silent assassins i feel like they they get the job done and no one really understands how they've managed to do it time and time again and kind of really shake up these top teams well, to the why. point now where they've beaten face i'll tell you why god rx is like a top five maybe top three player in the game he literally goes off every single map he plays in any series even when they lose he's going off like he's a beast alex is unexpectedly like a hidden gem he's a beast for this team as well and then when a player like Asim steps up or Assault, they can just beat anybody, and you see it right there when they beat. Is there anybody in this Rocker roster right now who is underperforming? No, everybody's doing their job. Every single player on this team is doing their job, and that's why they're consistent, and that's why they're so good. So I want to ask you as well, Nameless, just on the back of that then, Dallas Empire, is everybody in that roster performing well? How is Illy doing? No, Illy is underperforming individually, and like I said, they know exactly what they're doing in every series they go into, and they're fine in terms of game plan. Just when the execution comes into play in the final moments, when you have a player who's underperforming, it's going to be difficult. Like individually, when he gets there, when he can get over that hump and start to, you know, go even or go plus, you know, one, two or three, they're going to be dominating these teams. That's going to be a struggle, isn't it, Miles? Because if you're going into a matchup right now and it's almost feeling like 4v5, well, it's, not, that, it, yeah. it's not like 4v5. Not 4v5 I, get, I get what you mean, though. You know though. what I mean? If you're going in knowing that there's some part of this machine, like a cog that's slightly out of place at the moment, it, the pressure's on. Oh, the pressure's on, but now this is where you rely on the coach. This is where Rambo comes in and he tries to build that that chemistry back up again. He tries to tell everyone that it's going to be okay and, you know, we're going we're gonna to get through this as a squad. He gets everyone's head level once again. Whether anyone's in, underperforming individually or, or anything like that, this is the chance to wipe that slate clean. This exactly. is the second time we've seen Dallas in a final. This is going to be the first time we've seen the Minnesota Rocker players in a final situation. How are they going to respond to this one? That's the question I'm looking for. I, I actually, to, to bounce off of what Miles is saying too, when I look at Dallas as a squad and what they're investing into their team right now, this is a team that I expect to only get better. And like Namo said, we have expected for a while some teams to be able to catch up. This is one of the teams that has been primed to do it. If they're able to snatch an early win here and grab even more CDL points, I think we're also going to see that top four really start to solidify and get those safe positions. I feel like, you know, Clay's up on the desk as well. It, it sounds like he's nurturing these these guys as well, coming into it. You know, he is. He's kind of like Mother Clayster. Uh, he's he's <laughs> he's allowing them to learn, learn from their mistakes. And I think that's a really big part of it. And having that support in team is super important. You're not just counting people out, which is phenomenal. And, you know, Nameless, are you feeling pretty strongly towards Dallas Empire right now? Um, I don't know. I think it's a toss-up. I think both these guys look pretty good in their last match. And, you know, I honestly can't pick, like, I think for Dallas, like, Clayster has been very patient. Him, Krim, and Hook, they've been patient with Shotzi and Ilian. Shotzi is getting better. I think this is Illy's opportunity to take over, dominate. Like, it's his chance to go off and just completely just destroy all the haters. I I'm kind of curious, me. too, ba based off of Lottie. Do you think that Clayster is daddy as well? No. 
There are two dads on that team. Krim is daddy. There are two dads, yeah. <laughs> well, gentlemen, it's about time we get into the final. House. We're going to allow our teams to get set up on stage. We're going to head to a quick break. But when we come back, we have our LA Home Series final on our hands. Minnesota Rocker are taking on Dallas Empire for the final game of the day. Get hype! Trying to get hype. Call of Duty League is brought to you by Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel, the official energy drink of the Call of Duty League. Scuff Gaming, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. Call of Duty League is brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Rule your day with the number one brand in prepaid. Keep your eyes on Minnesota Rocker this weekend. Alex actually finds himself a double there. Alex doing Alex thing. We talk about him in game one. We talked about him in game two. Oh hell, here we are talking about him in game three as well. Alex doesn't even need the help. Alex with the triple. The man just did it all. It's basically a highlight reel of Alex. One of the men of the moment, Alex. I had the pleasure of speaking to him on the stage earlier. He said in his tweet yesterday, GG Seattle Surge won three to one. I'm winning this tournament. He told me that he's very much still convinced that is going to happen. And that was before the semi-final. So Alex, I may say I, I could be joining you in thinking this tweet may actually happen. I'm extremely impressed with how you guys are performing and I cannot wait to see you in this final. Now, talking about Minnesota Rocker, we sent one of our very capable casters out to find out exactly how the Rocker team practices and gets ready for game day. Check this out. Oh. 
Is this your first time fishing at all? I've been fishing, normal fishing, not ice fishing. <laughs> Whoa, that's hours. a big one. That boy ugly. What do you guys think your perception is in the community? I don't think we get the respect that we deserve. Most teams I end up being on always uh, underrated at the start. Game five, round 11, 1v1, Justin and the fish. No! And you lost them. One of you guys really needs to catch a fish, by the way. Minnesota right now breaking the ice with Chance there. Oh. How, how, <laughs> how, how do you think Chance did on, with his fishing skills? Surprised. Uh, I, I don't know if he's ever fished before. Fishing is not something that you can pick up and do very easily, but I think he, uh, I think he was great. Absolutely. Well, Minnesota Rock are pretty good at fishing for Ws on that stage because they've been catching some big ones. Oh, you're they, killing it right now. They've caught a big on one with Atlanta dude. face. <laughs> they did indeed, but I, I'm still kind of shocked. I, I don't know what to really say, but I'm still really shocked that they managed to, to take that win on that main stage, and this is the final that we're seeing. And, and you know, I, I think rightfully so. They have been performing so well all weekend long. They've had you know, a little bit of a backpedal at some stage this weekend where they, they lost. They've had a difficult road to go down, but they've done it. They've got to the final. Yeah, I mean, what I was questioning about them was, like, if they were a championship-caliber team, and I, they shut me up. Like, I think that they are. Like, in this final, it's, it's really a toss-up for me. I would not be surprised now if Rocker just took this home. Would not be surprised at all. They're nasty. I agree. I think that seeing what he said after that map was like, oh, we need to relax, we need to chill, compose ourselves. I think you did the exact opposite of that. I think yeah. the first thing you do is they go absolutely ham, 10 out of 10, 110%, all the way into that first map. Yeah. It's better to burn out than to fade away. If they're going to go big, go big now and just see how the map goes. And on top of that, too, we know that stylistically, when FaZe was able to do that against Dallas, FaZe was able to take every single win. So it does seem like that might be a weakness of Dallas. Set the tempo, set it extremely fast, come out and fry, look at the guys like God or X to go absolutely bananas and walk away potentially with this chip. How are they going to take this win? That is the question. We're going to head over to our Game Fuel Keys to Victory for Minnesota Rock. And Namus, what have these guys got to do? asim has got to keep it up, man. He's got to use that momentum, and they have to stay hyped. They have to keep on going, rolling in that first map. I think Miles was on point when he said that they have to come out strong. They need to dominate that this first hard point. Use that momentum. Don't let Dallas catch any fire at all. Indeed. Momentum is the key right now. This team has to keep going, keep pushing. But talking about pushing, we're going to push on. Game fuel keys to victory for Dallas Empire. Yeah, keep up the creativity flowing in SD. We saw them in Search and Destroy versus off the game, and they looked absolutely phenomenal. They need to keep it up and try to win these Search and Destroys and close out those hard points in the final moments. We've heard Rambo talk about it. We've heard Clayster talk about it. It's those final moments where they're making those, those you know, bad decisions in the fundamentals. We need Shots and Illy to turn up at the very end of these games and close it out. I also will say, just getting to see these guys behind the scenes mentally right now, they're in the best place they've been in throughout the entirety of the CDL. And I'm pretty sure that they're looking to just get this chip and get right back on their private jet. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. Private jet is where it's at. Let's have a look at our quick scope presented by US Air Force and see our teams head to head right now because they're going to be doing the house. Dallas Empire, Minnesota Rocker are going for this home series here in LA. Now, looking at the stats, I mean, Minnesota Rocker, Hardpoint KD, just a touch higher than Dallas Empire. Well, it's hard to read into stats right now because I feel like these two teams are so different from one another, but are their play styles going to be clashing here? That's a good question. I think it's just already just looking at the numbers. It's already going to be a very close match. This yeah. is going to be a tight one, and I think we're going the full distance. I think we're going five, and I think another another round five map is not what the Rocker want. I think they want to close this out as quick and as possible, as you said, Ant. Like, get it done in three, maybe four, but don't get to a game five, especially against the search and destroy that Dallas have got. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And talking about S&D, Atlanta Fates have had some of the best S&D we've seen, but we just saw Minnesota Rocker were able to, to take that one home. How are Dallas Empire going to do on S&D against Rocker? Uh, Dallas Empire are one of the top three Search and Destroy teams in the game. I think that they are they probably have the edge right now when it comes to the Search and Destroy. And Hardpoint, I'm probably going to give that edge over to the Rocker. Like, we've seen them perform. They play fantastic. And they know exactly what they're doing. Like, uh, it's really a toss-up for me, I'm telling you. It might just come down to that Dom. There we go. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Gentlemen, thank you so much. We're going to get into our final right now. Let's head over to our casters, Maven and Merck. What's up, boys? How you guys doing? Uh, we are excited. And Joe, I think there's a couple of different storylines that we kind of want to touch on within this final. First and foremost, some people might be getting their first win. Yeah, I mean, what? Six of these guys. You have two world champions on both teams. Krim and Clay, Assault and Silly, world champs, right? Solidify themselves have won a, a big tournament. The other players... 
absolutely nothing. How many times have we talked about Hook on those Envy teams? I think Hook's the big one for me, man. Yeah. We've been talking about it for way too we, long. We've been waiting to see him in this position to get to that grand final, and he's here once again. And then on the Minnesota side, guys like Gatorex, Alex, they are looking for that first. So there's just going to be so much passion on this stage. Well, let's take a look now at our U U.S. Air Force maps and modes before we get into it. Now, what's interesting is there's not a lot to talk about with this matchup in the sense that they have not played yet. So yeah. several months into the title, multiple tournaments in, they have not matched up. And I think if we've learned a couple of things recently over the past couple of weeks, one, this league is highly competitive. Anyone can beat anyone on any given weekend. And then also, matchups are important because FaZe has been steamrolling most teams, at least in a 3 0 fashion. They're the most 3 0s of anyone. Rocker, back to back, has played them tough. Yeah. This is a Minnesota Rocker team that got rolled by Optic yesterday. They come in and just battle FaZe. So matchups are important. Are there any key matchups in this particular? matchup for you. I, I, I think you look at the submachine gun players, right? Just right off the bat, you, you talk about a guy like Asim. Can he play consistently uh, against the likes of somebody who Shotzi has finally stepped it up? It feels like Shotzi is in a very comfortable role, right? That aggression. Then you look at that, that AR side, right? It's a bit of a the slower players. Can someone on the Dallas side slow down God Rex? You talk about Krim had a slow respawn match today. But I'll tell you what, you know he can pick it up. We've seen it all weekend. Well, Joe, it is time to introduce our teams. This is it for the home series final. Let's get it right down to Golden Boy on the floor. Thank you so much, gentlemen. L.A., it is now time for your grand final of the evening. Are you ready? All right, folks. Well, let's go ahead and introduce your first team. This is the Dallas Empire. And let's go ahead and bring out the team. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for a Call of Duty legend, the one, the only, Blazer! Joining him on the stage will be Shotzi! Followed by Illy. Next up, it's C6. And finally, it is. And now it's time to introduce their opponents. This is the Minnesota Rocker. Assault with clean five man wipe. Here comes Silly. Get him, Silly. The team making the play. Alex with the triple. He's the man of the moment, and he's not slowing down. It's all Minnesota in the kill feed. Rocker goes huge. Are you kidding? The Rocker will light it up. This man has been on fire all weekend long. Welcome to the stage, God RX. Next up, it is Silly. by Assault! Up next, it's Alex! And last but certainly not least, it's Ladies 
and gentlemen, this is your grand final of the evening. LA, let me hear you. Are you ready? Let's send it over to your casters. It's Maven and Murph. Thank you, Alex. And yeah, this is exciting because not only are there some players that are going to be crowned first time champions, a team is going yeah. to be crowned first time home series champion this year. Empire Rocker, who is going to come out on top? And now this is what I think is interesting, though, when you think about Rocker, maybe what we saw in Atlanta. It took a lot from Mutineers maybe to get by Huntsman. Like it took a lot out of them, right? They yep. get to the final and they struggle. Do you think the same argument may be made for Rocker? Like, they put a lot into that phase series. No. Did they have anything in the tank? No, I, I think they have plenty, right? When you look at Minnesota, they've been consistent all year long. I think when we talked about Florida, it was just like, how long can their momentum go, right? They, they were an inconsistent team. But going to this one for Minnesota, we know that they've been a top four team all year long. So you were surprised to see Florida in that position, not so much Minnesota. Yeah, like you I, knew it, they had it, a it run was, in them. It was a matter of time. It was a matter of time before we saw with how this team has been performing. How important was it them going game five, the distance would face the last event? Yeah, I think it was a confidence thing, right? You, you heard Alex talk about it. You heard Asim talk about it. Just sort of one of those things where we know we can beat these guys. We were right there, and well, they did it. And now for Empire, right into a final when they add on Rambo, right? He's got to be 90% responsible for them getting here. <laughs> no. I'm kidding, but it's got to be great for him to see the guys getting to this final. Now can they step it up? Clay had so many heroic moments in their last series over optic to get to this point and a lot of them guess what on Ramaza hardpoint he was a madman on this map five seconds to go let's get into it the Los Angeles home series final Empire rocker was there anything else for Empire when they got that game four win over optic on this map? that really, really stood out to you? I mean, it was just a close back and forth map. It was really their break, but they started on the other side of the map. So we'll see how they respond as they spawn over here. They're gonna get some early time, some nice nades that came in, but it was a great start for them early on. Remember, they had a 70, True. 80 point lead. Well, it was game four for both these teams, right? Yeah. Because we just saw Rocker take phase down in the game four as that well. That one went so, down to the wire. Yeah, so both got reps on this map within the past hour, basically. But it's a good start again from Empire. So far, so good at bridge as Shotzi continues to patrol this second story. He's hunting early and the hunting's going well until Silly finally shuts it down. But the one thing for Empire, you're controlling bridge from the right side. Spawns for next as we head to Electronic Shop. Look good for Rocker. Yeah. Unless this number two, unless Shotzi is able to make a play in this one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to have a big one. I, I think Goddard has been around that mid sandbag the entire time. So they're going to give up 50 points, but they are just trying to hang on to electronic shop they want to get a full 60 here here comes the first push for dallas two players goes down but you still have shots inside but there's just so many of those purple x-rays around them that's going to be all dead for dallas elite crim six they're going to be hitting the front <laughs> and how annoying assault was there i don't know if he did any damage but he was the first one they saw he laid down behind that bar and he never popped again he relied on his teammates and you saw you saw the empire players kept snapping they kept worrying about him popping up he just lays there and the rest of Rocker get it done. So now they begin to mount this comeback. It's silly. The hip fire is strong, goes soaring out, unfortunately for him. Illy ready to greet him. And well, I, I mean, the, the early rotation pays off, right? They're gonna get the final 20 seconds. We're basically gonna have a tie game for Dallas now. You're gonna rotate towards the right side. That's that barber shop area. Is it their turn to lock it down? Because remember, when we watched Dallas versus Optic, that was really the one weakness that Optic had. They gave up this barbershop a little bit too many times. Can Dallas hold on? Silly's trying to push across the bridge. He's going to get taken out. And now Assault right now. In this position, you're just going to slow it down, wait for your teammates, try to get into a good spot with that AR. It's true. It's a little bit different than what we saw from Empire in the sense they were usually having to break this hard point. They weren't the team with the early setup, just with how the sort of give and take went. Three kills through for Rocker, but the spawn's still in for Empire. They'll be able to get in a great position around Ruins very, very quickly. But it's got our X from top window. It's able to pick one out of the hard point and maybe steal a few seconds from Empire. But just as Rocker made a run, Empire looked to do the same. With those four big kills, can they get a foothold now towards the front of the hard point? Got our X looking for any kind of angle right as he gives it up. 
I think he finds it in the double challenge and is a simultaneous jump from who can shots he flies at. Him. Yeah, it gets a little bit scary for the Dallas Empire. It's a place where he picks up the killing spree, silly with some nice shots on the crim. But it got a little bit scary. You know, you go four down, but with those close spawns, they got all the kills near the hill. And while that's gonna turn into a 40 point lead as we rotate over to construction, it's just blowing back and forth. Who is gonna be able to break one of these hills? Silly with a great start at 12 and six, but it's Clay currently on the six spree. What else can he add to his repertoire as he pushes across bridge? The rest of his teammates drop. It might all be on Clay. He gets some help in the crossfire there from Crim6. Is this is where he had his big heroic moments versus Optic? Can he get in a position to do it again? The first snap is good. Seven in a row, a little bit of a snap and drop shot, but Illy there for the kill. Now Empire look to pounce. Can they get in? That's just so, what, so tough, right? As soon as the trades start to go back and forth, there's so many angles. Looking down on this hill, you have both the staircases, you have both doors, you have top three. So Clay, again, just trying to finesse around the hill. Nice shots, has the help with Illy. Just playing his life, trying to stay alive. He's gonna peek on out. That's gonna draw Illy in and assault in the seam. They're gonna find those kills. I just realized that Gonorexus has third death. Yeah, dude, the first, like, the first hill, he literally had been sandbags for 70 seconds. He was just hanging out. Like, what are we, four hard points into this? He's got three deaths? That's that's kind of outrageous. But yeah, goes back to what you were breaking down. He was chilling. <laughs> well, and they held the electronic, you know, he just stayed alive, and then Barber Shop, he dies a few times. That's crazy. Into ruins we go. Favorable spawns the rocker from the front. Empire gonna kind of bash their heads on into this. A little bit of friendly fire from the Simtex for Crim6 will take out play. But there they go, that's a lot of picks. That should at least be a contest for the time being. It's just so easy to get somebody in the hard point on the other side for Rocker, but what a great job from Empire to clear them out. Like, think about it, we saw that crazy play from Selium in this spot, right? He kills like nine in a row. <laughs> he makes such a great play, but they got like no time. If you just spawn so close at the backside of Ruins, it's absurd. Like you can make the best individual play in the world, and sometimes it doesn't feel it turns into a lot. Yeah, but you can see what Dallas is trying to do. They're trying to keep him stuck in this back pocket when we rotate back over to Bridge. Placer with this M4 trying to finish this kill. Not able to do so. Alex really quick with that MP5 shuts him down. Well, it was a solid setup for Dallas, and it still may be. I think it was Shotzi with a nice pinch towards that rug area. Going to give them control. But Minnesota, they do what they want. They flip those spawns when we rotate over to, to Electronic. The story of Empire this weekend has been their Clutch, comebacks yeah. and their clutches. Right now, they have a 30-point advantage. And how big this would be, because watching Rocker, where they were dominant was the hard points, right? They took both hard points off of phase. If Empire could come in here and steal this map one, how big it could be, but still a lot of work to do as Shotzi soaks up the time. Rocker getting ready to come in on the pinch. They haven't been able to finish him because Shotzi and Crim6, the Guardian Angels, looking over Shotzi. He's been less around the objective since, since the roll switch to Dead Silence. They're flying around that MP5, but they are doing a good job extending the lead. Yeah, Minnesota's just been so disciplined, not pushing too far, and actually near this place where Hook is right now. You had Alex inside this hill. He actually found two kills on rotation. Dallas were trying to sneak a couple of players through. He was the one that catches them, so he's on a 3-3 right now, and that was all rotation kills. So a huge play from Alex, and now he can get down and dirty as he's going to have a 5-spree, killing spree for Alex. And well, this is where, I mean, Minnesota, they had a full 60 last time around. It feels like this building wouldn't be as hard to break if there weren't 72 objects to hide behind. It's yeah. like, you've got a heady, you've got a piece of cover every three feet. Well, they there's, got in. There's so many spots, and well, as I say that, they get right on through what could be a huge break and a big swing for Empire if they get the final 25 seconds. Then on the other side, it's Clayster trying to win a one-on-one -on, -one on an early rotation. He's actually able to win that, so that's gonna divert the pressure from Rocker. They're gonna have to focus about getting over to Barber shop, and he's just tucked away in a corner. Clay makes the play again, almost three. How outrageous that would have been. If he wins all of that, it might have got messy for Rocker. Yeah, might have got messy, but now you have that 70 point lead. But this has to turn into a good hill for Minnesota. He has some presence here from Dallas already. Hook is able to win the one on one. That's going to keep them off the hill. The pressure is there once again. Assault, you have that M4, but that's not the position you want to be in. But it's a seam up top ladder watching the cross as they go through ruins. But you see the close spawn right now for Dallas. But this could turn into a bit of a spawn trap as all of Minnesota are lining them up. That's two in a row for Alex. A bit of a spawn trap. Yeah, I think you nailed that, Joe, as you saw him just cutting them down through the doorway. 
When Empire needed a break over to Electronic, they got it. When Rocker had to answer with a break, they got it. They at least disrupted some of this time, but they're still a good bit. Like, they get back in with 25 points. I actually, when I was saying that, I was thinking there was they less points to actually yeah. earn, and they were going to get it. They don't. So this is going to put you up close to 220 if you're Empire. Here in striking distance of shutting down this game one. Uh, just taking a, a quick look at that scoreboard. I mean, it's pretty even across the board. You can obviously see, even with them being outslayed, Dallas again are in the lead. It's a pretty balanced effort from the Minnesota side, but they have the construction hill. Dallas not even close yet to getting a contest. Starting to move across bridge and down low through that mid courtyard. Illy, though. Shotzi and Glacier, they all win their gunfights, and that's five dead. That is just way too easy. All of Dallas just break on through. They could win it right here. Can they close it out? Rocker scrambling across the map, trying to get in position to get it done. You still have that number four. That was Prim6 at Sandbags. As he gets chopped down, maybe Rocker can get in. But now 15 points away from the victory are Empire. Who can Illy can't do enough. Rocker do get the break. But how do they remain perfect over the next couple minutes of this game? Yeah, it's going to be difficult, right? Just all those rotations you would have to win. Clayser already in the back, has the help of Krim and Hook. Three go down for the Rocker. The only player left in, inside is Alex, and he's able to find one. Has the help of a, a seam now. But it's such a tough position. And there's still Clayser in the back. He's just been so sneaky on this map. Once again, leading the way in slaying on Ramaza Hardpoint. Unfortunately, there the shot's a little bit shaky, but maybe enough done. Nine more points needed in map one advantage to the Empire. Great shots from Hoop. Still so hard to close the game out here just due to the close spawn for Rocker. But if you're Empire, you've done a good job making sure you don't get many points if you're Rocker. They can still technically win it here. There comes the clear. Now they've got three players inside. They might be able to do it if they can line them up at the back door, but God RX makes the play. There's the final couple kills. There's the final couple points. Empire, get it done in ruins. And they will take the map one hard point. It's a 70 point victory. I mean, we'll take a look at the score, but I think, again, they were being outside. But really, the, the, the turning point is that electro electronic shop. That second hill on the second rotation. Minnesota, they just played for it, and they lost it that second time around. It really is crazy how this is going. Think about this. So, like, if Huntsman weren't in the final, who would you expect to win the tournament? What do you mean? Phase. Phase, yeah. yeah. If Phase weren't in the final, who would you expect to win? Dallas. Well, Huntsman, I would yeah. say. But then if both of them aren't there, who would be your next team up? Probably Dallas, yeah. Dallas. So it's like it's crazy how these first three tournaments might go. But what, what, Phase? Phase get the win without Huntsman. Huntsman get the win without Phase. And now without both of them here, Dallas might get the victory. It's nuts. But from a statistical side, anything major for you? Yeah, I think evened out a little bit down the road. But Gato Rex had a, had a great game. Placer leading the way with the M4 on that Ramaza hard point. Has the help of Krim, Shotzi, that construction break as well, right? I mean, it was six in a row. Just a little bit too easy for Dallas. We'll play with some sneaky moments and some big moments. It's going to be the scuff play of the game, and it's going to be Clayster. It's really every time we got to this Ruins hard point, man, he was just in a position to be a thorn in the side of the Rocker set setup. Yeah, right. He just plays this M4 just so, so well. Right. And, heck, even that play, I think the first time he was there was probably more potential to make a crazier play. Yeah, they had to get one, one, more, one more. One more gun fight. One more, and then they get all the points, what, at Electronic, and they get the rotation for Barbershop. That would have been nuts. But he's a guy that you expect to be ahead of the game when you talk about the rotation and to be the team leader in game. You see him kind of talking through stuff now. Obviously, they get the win, but I think he's thinking we could have done some stuff better. He might be talking forward to the surge, but I think more they're probably talking through that map one. Yeah, I just think for Clayster, one of the guys when we talk about those main ARs, right? Like, Clay's always been in, the, in that discussion. The last few years, he hasn't been able to play it. He had RCDs on his team last year. He was running that role. So, Clayster, man, right back in that minute. AR, AR role, really just having a, a great weekend. I think it suits him in the history of his career, and yep. especially right now, the point he's at. Like, this is great. Young guys around him in a comfort role, so strong with the AR, making heads up, smart, intelligent decisions. You saw it there in the map one, but now we're going to head to St. Petrograd for the search and destroy. I think the biggest thing for Minnesota for me has been the sheer number of snipes that God RX has been hitting. 
This is a map where he's found a ton. I think he put up seven on this map and mode this weekend. His snipe has been disgusting. You saw it in the last series against FaZe as well. Who's going to counter him if he gets hot? And this is a map that Dallas has not played yet in an official match. So they are 0-0, zero and zero, where Minnesota 2-2 two and two overall. We've seen it a few times from them this weekend already. But Dallas, a brand new map for them. It's not the same when you talk about maybe a hard point you haven't played, because you scrim that a lot. Yep. That does not necessarily apply to search. Oh, oh you talked about it. was good on the stage. The ability to hit snipes, but this time it's a hit marker, which it looked like it hit him in the neck and or shoulder, but it'll survive for now. Frustrating moment for Minnesota as they now look for an opening with this bomb. And who's that tucked away? But it's sneaky little clay yet again. <laughs> when we talk this map, right, there's just so much presence typically towards the A side. As the offense, you can get those nades over the mid street. Get this guy a glass of wine, set him up with a ham sandwich. He is. I would love that. He is set up and in position. And there's the first gunfight. Tries to snap back, but doesn't win the second. Illy will be the counter sniper on the Empire side. Goner X still in position near their spawn, just trying to catch anybody on the cross. And they both cut right. Or sorry, one cuts right, one cuts left. You can't get the shot on either. Just what is, what is Minnesota gonna, gonna do with this bomb? 30 seconds after the plant, they're gonna smoke mid street. But I think Hook saw that. Nice re-challenge. Nice re-challenge. He Could just get the third. He cameras them, he corners them hard. Now it's just Cillian got her X in this 2v3. Problem is bombed down and you've got no time. You've got to somehow work this plant and you're trapped in on both sides. Tries to peek out, cannot win it. Got her X who's been sniping on their side of the map since the beginning of the round, tries to get involved. Not much you can do with that. That sniper is a great utility piece early in the round when you're trying to hit somebody on a cross. But once you're in that, like a 2v3, nowhere near bomb site. What is Goddard X supposed to do? Yeah, I mean, he's just trying to find a fake mid-street somewhere. And, and you saw what that what Minnesota was trying to do. They took mid-map control. That forces a rotation back towards the B side. And basically, it opens up a pinch through mid-street. But the smoke, the smoke was not good enough from the side of Minnesota. Hook gets the call out, turns, turns towards that archway, and easy two kills for him. Good round from Empire, despite the fact they haven't played this in a tournament yet. There's the hit. No hit marker this time around. It's the flick through for God RX. Been one of the best snipers in the league early in this year. Just close the door. They won't know I'm here. And Silly has some help from that archway. Smoke going down. Well, this is just the finesse city, right? Just around these boxes, silly. Buys enough time for Alex to help him out. Alex takes him down, but he at least finds Shotzi. So still have the man advantage. Another hit, another snipe for God RX. Clayster, buddy, by himself. You want to challenge the sniper? He's going to go ahead and do so. The repeat comes in. That's a headshot if I've ever seen one. A seam just gets evaporated. Not a whole lot of time, but can he somehow win this? He knows he's close. He just wants to fly at him. Not able to do it. That was a hell of a snap onto a scene, but yeah, it just starts it was with the first blood. Yeah, <laughs> starts with the first blood. Got a Rex able to connect with that snipe. How many snipes can he hit in this map, too? Or how can Empire, Empire combat it to make sure he doesn't put up an absurd number? I'm thinking he put it away this round as he is just flying with his team. Yeah, Gunnarx is going to have an M4 in his hand. The car does the work. Shotzi blown off the map. Yeah, he's going to get taken down. That's going to open things up. See a couple of dead silences in use from Dallas Empire. They're just trying to stay alive, and they're able to find Hook. Trophy goes down, but you still have Krim in the arches and Illy up top. But that trophy, it's going to pay off. And Illy, he's up here with a sniper. 
and he's going to get taken down. Yeah, exactly. Good luck. <laughs> Illy gets dropped. Crim6 and Clay, the vets. Can they flush it here? Ooh, some nice damage into a scene, but can't quite finish him off. Trey makes his way forward, hits him. I mean, he puts a lot of damage into both. Just can't get either kill. Rocker with a nice team shot. And they shut down the round. That'll be back to back for Rocker. Yeah, right there you just saw a preview of defensively how difficult it can be to defend that site inside the cargo area you have to deal with. You know, if players get inside those boxes, it's so hard to peek from the well, window. Yeah, so once they get to the boxes, it's, yeah, it's, it's tough. Yeah. The cover in there is just absurd for challenging the window, challenging arches, challenging anything. Illy can't connect. So much emphasis from both teams to try and just get this pick mid. Oh, that looked uh, good. Ah, uh, he must have barely missed. He, he might felt have to dial that, that, that dial that one in a, yeah, little, right? a little bit more. Maybe readjust <laughs> the scope. I'm not too sure. He's not going to miss many of those. Slow round out of Dallas, but it looks like they're going to end up trying to get away. You have three members from Minnesota inside the site. Silly's going to be the first man up. He's going to have a one-on-one -on -one against Shotzi. Shotzi just trying to get him to shoot. Trying to get any information, but the smoke is going to open things up, and here comes a push from Dallas. You hear the nades flying on over. They're trying to find Silly. He baits him with the door, but Silly has to help Alex, just trying to stay alive. Both teams finessing around this site, and it looks like Dallas is going to come out on top yeah, as Hoot finds two. It's just insane. It's hide and go seek. Yeah, yeah, the players seem confused. Like, where did he go? Where did he go? Well, which way do I look? What side of the box? Like, that just looked like a nightmare. 15 seconds to go, though. One gets stunned up top. Krim trying to get into the window. He's going to be able to do just that. They will get the bomb plant in, and now it's all on a seam to clutch this in a 1v3. He flies in over the top, and the trade is there instantly. Empire, even the odds. So that literally just looks like a mess, man. When you get two to six, or sorry, like four to six players in there running around. Just hopefully your slide finishes and you're looking at someone. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> literally it. Hey, I think, I think it seems first pick. We didn't see it from his POV, but he must have snapped. Because I think Hoop was like lying, lying prone behind the box. I thought he was dead to rights. Assault for Rocker looking for his first kill. Same for Shotzi on the Empire end of things. Well, Minnesota's going quick. Up in the pace a little bit, going straight towards this A side. You do have three members here from Dallas. A nice nade inside this room. Gonna back them down and behind it, they go. Hook finds two, he has the help of Shotzi. That nade just weakened both of them up and who's gonna find his third of the round? Hook working on the ace now. Just assaulting God Rx to try and clutch up for Rocker. What a round from Hook. Him and Shotzi just go soaring at them. God Rx, sorry about your luck. You put in some damage, but Hook and company are gonna hunt you. Yeah, you called out the aggression from Rocker earlier in the round. It was, it was Hook and Shotzi, though, that met them. Well, typically, I, I mean, a lot of teams, I think they'll use their nades for info in, in Dallas. That was just different. They hit their nades and they're like, they're weak. Let's go. We'll challenge those gunfights. Catch two of them, one bullet. All the emphasis lately on this A site. Do we see anything different up mid map or any pressure towards B? They're going to leave one player top blue. One kind of leaking their way towards that top river side. So you only have three players here. But on defense, only two, I think, in position right now as you've got multiple players keeping them honest on the other side of the map. Yeah, watch the number one. We'll see what Clayster's able to do. I think he's got dead silence pop. He's trying to work a bit of a late flank middle of the map. On the other side, because Clay snuck through, Minnesota players, they are set up for Illy's this Illy's watching it, though. I think Illy's watching it. Illy gets caught, though. I think he had it picked up. He was holding the angle, but he loses the gunfight. Now it's on Clay to make the play on the other side. He can't quite finish it. It's awkward for a moment, but he does pick it up. Unfortunately, after the kill, it's just going to be Hook now. They have to try and do something wild. Can't do it at mid. And that was just, well, a lot different than the previous rounds, right? A lot of the fights kind of happen outskirts.
Yeah, I mean, Dallas, I, I, they were literally just waiting for Clay, but I think what ended up happening due to the route that Clay took, there was an opening on their setup. So a couple of Minnesota players, they watch the flank. They're able to find Illy. And then it's sort of like desperation yeah. time. Like Clay's like, well, I have to go now. And you can see, I think Clay called it out. Like they could have gotten through because you could see how Illy yep. was watching it, but we just didn't see how the gunfight went down. I don't know if Illy got smoked or just didn't wasn't watching the exact angle he got peeked from. Shotzi and Assault, their woes still continue, still looking for any kind of kill in this game. I think the pressure mounts after every round is well, very this is just a uh, You're playing around this site, though, too. This is just so difficult yeah. at times. True. Shotzi's going to fly in behind the nade, finds the first blood. They do this exact same thing. Yeah, that's right. You tally up the assist for him on those hook, the big hook multi-kill as well. But now Shotzi and Hook, that duo, they're pushed up to Rocker's little room. Clayser still going to be the lurker for Empire, just sitting mid-restaurant. And as they try to wrap this out, what information, what information is Clay going to get? Yeah, you, you hear they hear the rap out as well. So the call should be coming to Clay. Hey, bud, they're coming your way. There is a stampede inbound. Yeah. Can he take one down with them? Can we get over to Clay's POV? Spots one. Nice shots. Clay with the lurk. They rewrap back after this. They rewrap back through. Wow, they still have shots on the left. Hook and Shotzi never left. Hook continues to lock it down. Great round from Empire. Rocker can't find any, any success on the rotation. You, you kind of felt that when they just sort of slowed down in the middle of the map. I think they were hoping that like all their footsteps sort of baited a rotation. And yeah, Hook and Shotzi, they, they backed up a little bit, but not enough. They stayed near the site. Was, they, they backed up the deal with maybe the push through mid, like yeah. the flank through mid, but they, yeah, didn't give up the site, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it's both, I think. Now hit markers for either side where Hook goes bouncing out like a rabbit. Yes, that is a bad guy. Alex is just lying prone behind this table chair combo. Plays like and double stays up. At yeah, it. he's like, is what? That is, 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 that, is that him? Yeah. Or is that a cat? It's Alex. It's Alex. <laughs> nice pre fire onto its seam. You've got massive numbers if you're Rocker. If you're down and around, you've got to win this. Alex still is just set this up. This is his table. Yeah, he's, he's reserved it. He's eating lunch, and he's thinking about round two, maybe dinner entree. Silly then with the headshots. Wraps it back. It's just Shotzi. Maybe try and pat his stats a bit as he's had a slow start to this game with 30 seconds to go. Stunned up, smoked out. Shots coming in from just about everywhere. Nothing he could do. Rocker get the round. And it's all Alex at mid-map. Five course meal and two kills to go with it. Yeah, I mean, you like that call from Dallas. So what they figured out is Minnesota, they're going to start working the flank when we have some eight presence. So they send three towards restaurant. They try to find those players who are working the flank, but Alex just outpositions them. There was no trade it, from Clay. It looks so funny from Clay's view because he literally, literally, he, like, he, he, he like stuttered. He stuttered, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> His teammate was probably like, Clay, what the hell? <laughs> you got to get yes, that trade. I, I, I didn't see him. <laughs> it's that old age. <laughs> Look for a second. Like they, they know Empire been so aggressive on that side. They're like trying to bait it, maybe give Goderex a pick if they push through with how aggressive Hook and Shotzi have been. Shotzi's gotten all the way up to that little room, but now all the progress for Rocker coming towards hazmat clay again just lurking around mid-map he'll either under you and denny he gets the time he can't give it away with his life they don't he really just gets out. Ah, i thought alex was gonna get the kill you have to trade but he gets away and now they're looking for him okay, okay. Assault, right. assault that's his first kill of the game and it's a big one there we go assault on the board on the board yeah if Illy gets two there that round's done still have to get the bomb down with 30 seconds left this is such a tough position Watch number nine, that's silly. He's starting to lurk up the middle of the map. Can he make the difference? Assault with the second one of the round. They still have to get the plant, though. Do they know Clay's in here? Now they do, and he still wins a gunfight. Has the nade. 
He's able to find Alex. 10 seconds. It takes five to plant. Someone has to hop right on top of it. It's silly. He's going to get cut down. That's it. Not going to be able to get the plant. Assault will drop an empire. Get the fifth round. I, I, I think Clay might have taken 20 total steps that round. Every, no, every time we hopped him, he's just lurking in the mid buildings. I, I mean, he's telling his teammates, I have bomb, right? I have bomb. Play your life. They're not going to get it down. And he just plays the clock, continues to watch the cross to it, has the nade, plays it perfectly. Clay, nine and six. Hook right there with him. I mean, it, think about how different their kills have been. Like, Hook aggressive on that A site, Clayster in that lurk role. Like, they, they've come up, stepped up at different moments, but big part of why they have this one round advantage. It's just they could not be more of a different presence on the map. Rocker. No, oh, that's a trophy. Yeah. He would love a first blood. Yeah, he just, trophy. He, 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 he goes, ah, I'm still throwing it. <laughs> well, they, they blew up the trophy and they're going to take down Silly. They just go, but a seep snaps on the hook. I thought he caught him for a second. Wow, that headshot. I thought he caught him. Still out, though. Dallas has presence inside the site. You have assault work in the flank. Can Rocker get us to around 11? Dead Silence popped. He's trying to make the play right now. Silly's holding it, though. Or, sorry, Illy's holding it, though. And Illy gets the kill. A tray comes in immediately. The plank going down for Empire. Two versus two. Such a big moment for Rocker. And, and Shotzi's in a bit of an off angle right now. Inside Little Pillars. Is he going to expect him here? I, I don't know if he will. Yeah. Do you see it? But Shotzi almost shoots a little too early. 1v1. And Dallas takes a 2-0 lead. The clutch moments again for Empire. Clay and Hook lead the way. Clay letting Rocker know. I'd love to know what he was spouting off with there. As now they get disciplined. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Ray's laughing. He's like, all right, guys, I know you're hyped. Come on, it's Clay. Fine. Come on, Clay. Simmer down. That's fine. I'll Simmer let it down. Let it happen. Let's go. I love it. I, I love, love it. it. No, I'm, serious. I'm pretty sure it is got reprimanded by the ref up there. <laughs> and we get a live shot at it. But Clay, nine on the board. Hook, nine as well. I, I mean, when you look at both of these games, right, both teams pretty even. It's just uh, a few plays are the difference. How many? Super close 3 0s have we seen this year. Like, so, so, so many. But Dallas can tell you a lot about those. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they've been on the receiving end of many a close 3 0. But now, one map away, our Empire for getting their first home series win. Can they close it out in the domination? Right back after this quick break.
Call of Duty League is brought to you by Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel, the official energy drink of the Call of Duty League. Scuff Gaming, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. Call of Duty League is brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Rule your day with the number one brand in prepaid. We're back and we're taking a look at the Minnesota Rocker watch party, which is at risk of becoming the Minnesota cry party. Okay. If they lose that, uh, they're down 0-2. The fans need to get behind them, but we're going to take a look at the U.S. Army tactical play. It's Clayster in round nine with the heads up lurk inside of Hazmat. Yeah, so there's a lot of things going on around him, but he just stays alive inside. Hazmat is able to find John Rex moves his way through. He knows he just has to defend the bomb, and he uses that nade. He finds the last kill of the round. And if God Rx, one more pistol shot, and that would have done it. I, I think they would have got the bomb planted. They yep. would have had man advantage. But Clay, once again, in a big moment. I mean, he has just been so good this weekend. He yes, really he has. has. I'm really glad no one could see your face when I said Minnesota Cry Party because you look disgusted. I, I don't even know what that means. I don't, I don't either, but you look disgusted. Like, you've never really looked at me that way. That, that cut me deep. <laughs> like, what, it wasn't very good. It wasn't, All right, it wasn't well, your <laughs> best attempt. I don't know what to tell you. I was like, <laughs> oh, but Clay, you have been so, so good. And you have to think, like, not only does it mean a lot to him to get a win, but I think even more because think about his former teammates. You saw uh, RCs get a win. Mm -hmm. You now saw BZ and Simp get a win. Yep. Like, he's been watching his teammates win these tournaments. It's got to put a little bit more pressure on him because I think, I think someone like Clay, yes, you deserve your championship. You play great. You won a world championship. But there's still part of the community that thought that you'll see the jabs go. You got carried by the young guns. You got carried. You got carried. It has to mean something to get this win. It has to. Especially in this fashion. Like, I, I think... For me, he's been the MVP, right? Like, he really has. He's been that good this entire weekend. Only thing to make it more sweet is maybe beat phase to do it, but. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a wins a win. A wins a win. Handle what you can handle, yeah, you right? Play, you play your competition, right? You don't pick who you play, unless we start doing like a Swiss format eventually, which could be cool. Don't want to confuse people. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Really I, I, already, I already have Twitter figures explaining yeah. formats as it is, so yeah, maybe maybe no change. <laughs> Let's see. You saw you saw it there. Last two finals have ended 3-0. That's true. Yeah, we uh, we have had some fast finals. What well, Ben and Chance did the last one. We did we did London. Yeah. And they, they've been pretty lopsided. Hunt, yeah. Huntsman Give get me a win. something. Phase get a win. Give me something. Empire Alex, looking please. for a win. Does that cement them? I mean, they were the top three teams for me coming into this, but that really cement it now. If an Empire, yeah, if Empire definitely helps your arguments. On yeah. <laughs> you can make sure you go back to that. Dude, combo. this guy's like, yeah, Empire's not a top three. Seven. Like, what? Seven. <laughs> they're seventh in points. Oh dear lord. Well, they're about to jump up the rankings quite a bit. If they can get one more map win. Rocker, though, not out of it. But for the most part, I mean, we've seen them against Faith. They go up early in series, right? The question is, can they close it out? I'm trying to think if we've seen them in a big hole they have to climb out of like this that jumps to my mind. Now, just taking a look at, at uh, you know, what these guys have played on this map. You have not seen this from Minnesota and for Dallas, 0-1, so... Not a lot of repetitions on Gunrunner. Controlled chaos. <laughs> Gunrunner domination. Clayster and the lads of Dallas Empire looking to get the win. Hook will open things up as Illy heads right over to the B point. He is greeted with nades and now the opposition of Rocker. Uh, he was gonna meet Alex, but Alex unfortunately gets stuck by his teammate well, well, Assault's Hook, nade. Yeah, Hook won the gunfight middle of the map. He immediately goes on a flank and he's able to find three kills. So that is just all Hook and Hook continues this run. Well, Hook probably led to the team kill too, right? Probably a panic yeah, yeah, nade right. that came the out. Nade, the nade, no, the nade probably fell out of his hand. That's probably what That's happened. True. Yeah. And now for Rocker, you have to handle business at home around this C flag and Krim is here. Terrorizing them as in the kill feed. It's all Dallas right now. A tough spot. A great start, though, for Dallas. And while Krim tried to get a little bit aggressive, tried to get that neutral, just not able to do so. Dallas up 2 0. Dallas with the two cap. Dallas looking to get their first win. Let's go to an Astro Gaming listening with Dallas Empire. No, just cross the hut. Hut, hut. The great box. And shit on them. Watch out. Watch out. Open your I'm watching your control lane. Locker, 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 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 we'
And that's not always the best thing to do, right? To just play around your lead. You, you have to keep playing the map the way you want to play the map. Set the precedent. So far, so good with this CP. And that's what you want to see, the aggression towards A. But behind that three, go down. Woo. And Minnesota, they are quickly going to get on this B flag. I think Shots will be the first one there to try and make the play. He's going to get caught with a nade in his hand as Alex will wall bang him. The lead though up to 18, but Rocker now with the two cap, bit by bit, will chip away. How long can they hold on to it as Illy looks for any kind of opening towards B? He's actually gonna push all the way through. Thought maybe go for the flank. I have no idea oh, no. how he just got that kill onto Assault. Still though, Minnesota hanging on, even behind those ridiculous Come kills. Come on, Minnesota. We've had all three O's in the finals. Can we get to a fourth map? I believe, Rocker! I believe! And well, why you believe? Three go down, shots. I, I, I still believe! You still believe, all right. They cut it down to 10. Dallas getting on B. You saw Minnesota, they were trying to work the C fly at the same time, but that player gets cut down. And Two cap flips. Under three minutes to go. Rocker's lives on the line. Goner X is gonna push through. Maybe look for the neutral at C. I think he's just worked his way up the bathrooms. I think he wants, he wants his team to get a kill or two. That's what he's waiting for. He's just waiting for his team to find something. And maybe after Alex gets pushed up, that's when he's gonna go. He's on the neutral, a big one-on-one -on -one going down. Krim versus God Rx. Just trying to stay alive, the neutral's coming in. Can he get the kill? He's finessed for so long. He gets the neutral and at B, are you gonna get a cap assault? He's able to take down Illy. I, there we go, they flip it. I think the good thing for God Rx is it, it took more than one player. Like yeah. Kr Krim, it took so long to get the kill that multiple players wrapped back to try and get his help. That's an opening at B, and they'll find it. So 12. Make it 11 points, the difference between these two squads. That's what, just a minute of a two cap. Can they hang on? They, they were trying to put pressure towards C once again. But you see what happens when they die middle of the map, it opens up vent room. That's where Dallas, where they wanted to flood out, but that's gonna be three down for them. This looks good now. You're spawning deep if you're Empire. Deficit now down to six, 90 seconds to go. Rocker just have to hold this two cap and they get the win. But it reminds you of when Empire had to make the crazy plays against Optic. They need one good push to shut all of this down. Silly flying forward, dead silence though. Man, he has gone huge when you needed him. He was, what, yeah, nine and 17 at one point. The lead about to be gone. We are all tied up, one minute to play. You see down low, two players trying to push A. Vent room control as is able to win a one-on-one. -on -one. Can we see him at four, Joe? I do not know, but- It's possible! It's looking like it. Silly continues. It's a bit of a staggered push from Dallas. This is not what they want whatsoever. Two players still in vent. They're gonna bust on through. Can Minnesota hold on to this? Five point now lead. They continue to get all the clutch kills. Dallas is here, but so is Silly. So is Silly too. Likely gonna be enough to they stop only, it. They only need to hang on to one. They only need to hang on to one. You have one player trying to neutral C at the same time. That's gonna be Alex on it. Can he get the neutral? It's almost there. He, he does. That's going to be it. He gets the neutral. That should We're close going it out. Game four. And for the first time in the short history of the Call of Duty League Home Series Finals, we're going to see a map four. I believe, Rocker, you did it. I'm sorry to the Empire fans. I never fans. said that. <laughs> you just made that up. What I make up? You said I didn't believe it. Oh, no, no, no. I believe it. I said I believe it. Yeah, but then you said I did it. Oh, yeah. You might not have, but we did it. And I'm sorry to Empire fans. I just wanted to see a longer series. And we've got that here. Rocker, who have looked so good in hard point, they get to another one. Tournament's not over yet. Man, it was just when you needed somebody. It was silly. Just holding down those pushes. You had Alex constantly hitting. See, I mean, we're gonna take a look at the stats. 
It's not a pretty look for Minnesota. It's not pretty whatsoever. Uh, Alex is the only one. But they, they handled business. I mean, they got it done. Well, once they got that two cap, they just well, held on to it for a straight minute. I just think really the big difference maker is what they did in the first half because the first 90 seconds of the game was scary. Dallas had everything in control. As soon as they flipped the AB setup, it just, you know, they got it down to 12. And the finals, if it means anything, it means passion. It means emotion. And look, oh, this is us. This yes, is us. us. Get excited. It happened. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. We did it. Oh, there's so much on the line. I, I, I'm excited. I'm ready to go. I can't wait for a map four. <laughs> it's our first map four ever in a home series final, Joe. I'm excited. <laughs> very are excited. you out of breath? <laughs> now you are. Yeah, no, I'm very out of shape. You can see my shirt. You almost saw your I belly. Have, yeah, I have to wear basically, I don't know what this is. It's sort of a, it's like a girdle that I have to wear to keep everything tucked in nice so I don't look like a blob or an amoeba in this sweater. It keeps me all tight. I mean, you the look good. Team you look good. Yeah. Thank you, John. It's very yeah, kind of you. It's very kind of you. I just have to keep all this excess me in control. I'll tell you what, though, this game four, though, it's going to be a fun one. Hard point on Hackney. Both teams undefeated throughout Ooh, this I year. Like that. Minnesota 4-0. Dallas 2-0. I like that. And we know Hackney Yard, man. This is going to be fun. What a comeback from Rocker. And the narrative we sold all throughout this was the Empire comebacks. The Empire clutches. This time it is them that folds. It's Rocker that go huge over the final two minutes to get the map 3W and extend this series. What is left in the tank for Rocker? You had a crazy map five series against FaZe. You now poised to go the distance against Empire. What do you have left? Empire, who had a bit of a break. Rocker just going series to series to series. I tell you what, though, you can, you can not series. get out slayed like that, though, on a map like this and, it's true. It's and, and true. win. The slaying power has to be there. God Rex, Alex, you need your superstars. Alex, right away, did a fine first blood, but we know Hackney Yard, right? You want to control the right side of the map, but seem just trying to bust on through. Hook's going to be the last one. You see the spawns, Dallas. They get bailed out a little bit, but God Rex is still alive. You have one player still earning some hill time. That's going to be Hook. Oh, okay. But because of that position, Minnesota, they should be able to get on this hill. And get on the board. Get as much of these 40 seconds as you can yep. because you're gonna suffer when we look the tire shop. They're putting all five bodies at it. That was Assault that picked up one trying to flank their top L. So far, comfortable time. They'll put up 40 plus if they get the rest of this. I thought there was a chance maybe for Silly to sneak through the cracks for a moment, but it is Krim spawned all the way safe in their back brick building. Now, I like this as well, right? With Krim spawning back there, they can still put some pressure on. I mean, they've given up about 36 points as Alex is eating uh, uh, up. Three down, but Tire Shop still in control for Dallas. So good job by Minnesota, but now what can you do here? It's Minnesota that have to get this map win to get it to a map five. We already heard the comms from the Empire side. I want to hear the Rocker boys. Let's go to an Astro Gaming listen in with Rocker. You just block right, you just block right. No one, no one's uh, up, you're just up. Shazzy was left side. Shazzy was left side. I just want to left. No, we'll keep bro. I'm all left. He's already in. Hey, I'm all left. He's already in. 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 He's locked. Lot elite. Lot or he's going to paint. They're left heavy. They're left heavy. Another one. Another one. I'm all Chelsea. Folk. 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 We kill Elliot. Yeah, 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 we kill Elliot. Yeah
I think you saw some physical and vocal frustration from a seam. He started out two and eight, but since then he started to get it going. Look at the kill feed. All purple is Rocker bounce back. They now take the lead. A seam. The frustration's maybe gone now as he gets three kills in a row. I mean, they didn't do much at tire shop, but here at Smokestacks, they are putting on a clinic. They have Dallas all back yellow. It's assault on a 5-3, and I loved what I was listening. Yeah, I see maybe a little bit frustrated, hasn't had the best series, but it was so calm from the rest of the guys. Just getting the callouts, getting the rotations. Now, a 30-point lead as we head to office. And when we watched them yesterday on this map, Rocker were great in office. Like, that's where they would get a ton of their points. They've been so solid there when they get set up early. The downside, you're not set up early this time around. It's going to be Dallas Empire that are in. They still have one lurking in. Who? Oh, of course, it's Glacier set up up top. What a win that is against Alex flying around the corner. He's going to keep them honest towards the next spawn set for Doc. So he's going to keep them spawning left. It's another big play, another big rotation, another big setup for This is huge because you have all of these points coming your way and you're locking down the next spawns. You see where the Rocker is spawning. This is not where they want to be, but Clay actually does go down. Can they continue to push on through? And it looks like they did flip spawn. So heads up play from Rocker. Now they're going to be controlling that yeah. back docks area plus this scrap time. It was a big play. That from was a Clay. big 180. It was a big play from Clay, but the problem was it happened with like 40 seconds up in the yeah. hard point. So there's still so many cracks that you can take at it if you're Rocker. And with the next one, they do burst through, but it's another lead change. Empire back out in front over to the docks building. We will now set up some great shots from Shotzi over the top of trying to push this back blue van. Not going to be able to do it. The trophy in position to bail out Alex, and he'll take the gunfight. But Clay on the other side trying to look for easy pickets. It's only one that he will drop. It's a bloodbath inside the point, but who's standing? It's going to be Dallas that are in. Yeah, two Cuckoo goes large. Taking a look at this scoreboard. I mean, we talked about Clay, but it's Assault who's really stepped up. Hasn't had the best series in the respawn tech, even a slow search, but him with that M4, he is comfortable on this map. On the other side, it's Shotzi, it's Illy, it's Hook. Three of the sub players with 14 kills. Scrap time, gonna go the way of Minnesota, but you see what Dallas wanted once again. Not only setting up for first, but setting up for that second hill tire shop controlling the side of the map that they want. And another lead change. Rocker now in Back front. and forth. Yeah, it could not be more back and forth. Hard point after hard point. Rocker inside, but when can they maybe work on the flip? They can't even think about the flip right now because they've gone three down. Silly though, still hunting. Silly gets smoked as Illy is able to turn and burn. So now this is really scary because Empire get into the point despite a killing spree from Alex and have the rotations to next. Alex is going to, I believe, try to take the gun by the top of the map, either towards play or Shotzi, Dude, and Alex look for any is, kind of opening. Alex is destroying right now, man. He is on point. He's already at 22 kills on the map. He's got a minute to the hard point, I believe, as well. There we go. This is what they needed. Get these last 20 seconds. Can they push through? What a big moment this is. Can they get through the early setup from Empire? The Rocker chance behind him. Can it be fuel to get the breakthrough? Here we, Here go. we go. Alex with the opening kill. Now they start to fly on in. It's going to be silly that soars through first. He's going to drop. This is where you want to solve. Oh, Ooh. if he can get that second Ooh. one. Ooh. Maybe disrupts the spawns, but it doesn't happen. That was close. That was a sliver away from influencing those spawns and maybe, maybe getting a break. Alex has a chance here, though. What can he do? I like that back down from Shotzi. Just sort of baits him into it a little bit. For what seems to be our fifth, maybe sixth hard point in a row, it looks like it's going to be another lead change if Empire could continue to do it. And what their big answer was with Rocker, right? You said it's Smokestack, because yeah. they did such a good job after Tire Shop. Not nearly as easy to hold no, as Tire it's Shop. Tough. That, that was one of the better holds that we have seen on the stage. I think it's going to be hard. To copy, but we'll see if they can do it. You have got Rex in a good position. This is what you want, right? When you're setting up for smokestack, what you want is to keep them spawned near that back parking lot. You control warehouse, you control office, and you see where they're spawning them. But Illy gets pushed out. Placer finds the second one onto Assault. This will open up the middle of the map, allow them to get nades on the hill. Uh, he tries to go top, but I think just misses the mantle. Graham had the angle for a moment to clear him out of the hard point. 
but can't get him out. So just soaking up the time inside. It's still going to be Assault and getting twisted is still Alex. They're able to at least clear them out of the hard point for now. Nine point advantage well, I didn't for even Empire. See Grimm. I, I mean, he is 8 and 26, and his team has the lead. Still winning. He is triple negative right now. He's still winning. Still winning. That is correct. They're soaking up this scrap time while Minnesota's setting up inside of office. Can they get him off this? You, you, you don't want him to have the final 12 if you. That's the first hard left. point. First yeah. hard point ages. We don't have a lead change, right? First time where someone strings together multiple hard points. Yeah, the pressure is on Minnesota right now, though. Empire puts it 25 points away. Now, Rocker, you need this time. You can't get broken, and somehow you've got to get dock spawns at some point in the next minute. Can't worry about it yet. Oh, it might be. Who's yeah. that flanking around? That's a seam. Yeah, he's going for it. He got the kill as well. Is that going to flip him? That should. That should flip him. Yeah, he, he got him out. Now they have to focus on the hill. They have to focus on the hill. They're getting all the kills oh they my need. God. Alex is on a oh streak. It seems on a streak. Assault's on a streak. Oh my God, that was textbook. That was perfect. But there's still so much time remaining here. Assault lines them up as Assault Big, oh, keeps fighting though. Oh, here we they go. spawn bottom left. You don't expect that. They're going to get the close parallel spawn to Docs. But 20 points away now is Rocker. Who's going to be left? Once Empire get blessed with the spawn towards Docs, and look how far out Rocker are spawning. All right, you have time. You have to group up. God Rex got a big kill towards the middle of the map on Clay. They are going to be five seconds away from sending us to a map five, but it comes down to one or two pushes. We know how hard it is to break this. Who can alien Shotzi? Oh, no. Shutting it down. All That's dead. all five dead. All dead. Oh, the spawns. They're not done yet, though. One final push for one final contest. The tournament is decided here. They got a kill. And Illy's there up top. They got him out of the hard point. Got him they out. might still be able to They're get there. in. They're they got to fly. Go, go, go. Get in. They're able to get in. Everybody is into the point. 247. 247. Inside. It's madness they inside. Rocker. Oh, they got they it. do it. They do it. They do it. It's Rocker with the win. It's bad. It was done. I gotta see a replay. <laughs> Team man, I gotta see a replay. <laughs> I gotta see it. Yeah, we're gonna Woo! we're gonna load that on up, but who got the kill to get them out of the hard it point? It was a nade. It was a nade. I don't know. That that nade bought them five seconds. That yeah. nade bought them so much time. We'll look at the stats quickly. Oh yeah, we gotta look at the last 40 seconds and see how that went down. My God. Oh, but there's a look, Assault. I mean, 33 for him. Man. Why, my heart is beating, bro. Yeah. I, the first two maps, I was like, ah, <laughs> give me some. Oh my God. Let's take a look at the highlights, the replay. How does this go okay. down? Joe, walk me through it. Yeah, so, you, so you're gonna see, right? I mean, you think this is it. Dallas had mid, mid control, but they pushed through low. So it's a seams nade on the clay, takes him out. And look, there's no one that can quickly rally back. Yeah, that buys him just a couple they seconds. They spawned back yellow because they pushed down low, and that's it. I, I mean, man, they were all dead. You saw six players in a row from Dallas get kills. Minnesota's funny across the map, and they somehow get their yeah, time. I, I thought when it. Oh, oh man, there's no crying in Call of Duty, but you gotta love to see it. The passion from the fans, what a wild map it was. You have happy, you have sad, you get the wide range of emotions throughout this, but let's see it from Silly, there it is. Ah, oh, I hope you're loving this. What a series <laughs> it is. It's insane. It's map five. It's our first map five ever of a home series final. Don't go anywhere.
I hope you had a chance to get to the restroom, grab a bottle of agua and get right back to it. It's sunset here in Los Angeles, but things are just starting to heat up. We are getting ready for map five, our first ever map five in a home series final. Empire, Rocker, either of them will be crowned champion for the first time this year. Whew. So you good? Yeah! I'm good too. I'm sweating! Man. What a last couple of games those maps were. But that last instance, you, you got to think if you're a hook, right? Top yellow, if you just stay alive, right? You see Twitter blowing up about it. He just stays alive because as soon as he goes down, what happens? They get the close one. They get yeah, the parallel the spawn. spawn opens yeah. up for Minnesota. We, we talk about, I, I say parallel a lot. What I mean is like that parallel spawn, the really close spawn, top yeah. or bottom of a hard point. Man. And if you have both sides pushed out as a team, you'll force a deep spawn. It's hard to do, but you'll force the deep spawn. If you keep somebody there, though, it's the difference between them spawning three seconds from the hard point and let's say 10 seconds from the hard point. And when you're tied like 245, 245, those couple of seconds are he, everything. You got to think he probably thinks it's over, right? We, we got five kills in a row. There's no way that happens. Welcome to Modern Warfare. Yeah. <laughs> those squad you, where you're never safe. And, and I just think, like, you, you talk about that pressure winning that first title. If they lose this, he goes back and watches that, man. Oh, no. Oh, it's just, I mean. That's nightmare fuel. Empire, Empire have seen both sides of it. They have, the, they have the crazy comeback against Optic. Now, maybe they throw away one there. So many emotions going through these players, their loved ones, these fans. Maven. What a final. Yeah. You. Yeah. <laughs> We're almost ready to get into the map five. It's going to be Gun Runner, Search and Destroy. One map to crown a champ. All right, if you take a look at that map record so far on this one, feeling good if you're Dallas. You're two and one. The Minnesota side, one in three. That is, that's a tough one. And I think when you talk about this map, you talk about mid-map control, you talk about the pressure that you have, you need guys like Alex and Asim to continue to go off. They have to match the pressure that Shotzi and Hook are going to put on the middle of the map. Because we saw Dallas play this earlier. Well, we just saw they it look good. Rocker versus FaZe. Is that the one they won or lost? They just played it against FaZe, right? I'm trying to remember. I can't remember if it was the two or the five on the top of my head. But we just saw them play in the last series. It is time. Here we go, everybody. Map five finals time, Empire Rocker. Who will be the last squad standing? And right away, Hook, Shotzi, front door bathroom. Baiting out the Minnesota players. There's that first blood. Plant immediately goes down. They are just so reactionary right now. Man advantage bomb. Plan is going to be a tough retake for Minnesota. You know you're not going to have dead silence quite yet. Can Assault and Asim do it in the 2v3? Asim goes soaring right into green. Can't take it down. Now to Assault in the 1v3. That's a big gunfight win, but there's so little time to work with. He spotted Crimson. Oh, no. oh, he puts one into his forehead. Needs one more bullet. And this is when you look at your veterans, right? This is when you look at your clays, you look at your crims, your world champions. Crim did not have a great map four. Was triple negative throughout it, but he finds the final kill of the round. But it's Hook and Shotzi, the teamwork around that bomb site that opened things up for the Dallas Empire. The Empire strike back in the first round after that tough, tough loss in map four. I think it's big to get something going early, get around when. Because you saw the pain on Clay's face. He knew they had that tournament win. But you got to brush it off and get the W. Focus Some, it on this map five. Sometimes it's just not easy. You lose Krim early. And Krim's coming off a very difficult, tough map four. Shotzi evens the odds. Maybe shooting out a butterfly. Well, he's shooting out the fan. He wants to put a nade through it. But he didn't have a nade. But Clayster, he's able to find another kill. That's going to give that man advantage. Hook with another one. He found the M4 on the ground. And he, he sets uses it up it. for a teammate to get a nade through. Yeah. 
and Silly and Gato Rice do it. It's all down to Silly. Hook, he's going to be behind him. It's the pace, man. It's the pace I'm talking about. Hook is setting it. Already two kills he's averaging throughout this game. Four kills on the board. You said it, but like when they played Empire, remember it was just that they were going at him. They were flying yeah, at him. You have to match round. this. You have they, to match they, it. They took map control early. They put Optic on the back foot early. They made them feel uncomfortable. They want to play at a different place in this pace of this search and destroy. And, and you can. Empire now up 2-0. But if Rocker have done anything over the course of this series, it's fight back, answer back. You need to do it soon. You can't go too deep a hole in this map five. But so far, so good for Empire and a great start from Hook. And they're switching it up. I like those smokes they're throwing at A. You can see, already see what that does, right? The smokes go down, that forces a rotation towards the A site. It leaves one at B. That one player is going to be, I think that's Assault. Sorry. Oh, Z. Well, oh, that helps. That, okay. That, well, that, that, that would have been a tough a situation, but instead it's a 4v4. Bomb planted. Four on four retake. Crim's going to get picked. There's two players cornered up inside the bathrooms. One's going to push out the flank. One's going to hold the front. I thought for a second shot he was going to push through, but now he's got to wrap back. He's been tagged up. He might be in trouble, but 2v2, make a 2v1. It's all on God or X to make the play. Clay gets away with his life. And with only 20 seconds, this should be a third round to Empire. Just don't think there's enough time. There's nothing he can do. He can't hunt him down again. That is great one, from Empire. That is one of uh, Dallas's opponents that, that are watching them right now. You're right down in the notebook because when you see that the smoke nades at A, it does not mean they are committing to it. You have to keep a presence towards B. And that's exactly what happened. You had an early rotation immediately come in through those mid tracks in Dallas. They just took the B site. If that nade kill doesn't come in, that's not even a close round. <laughs> I saw Clay, hype man Clay was gonna hype shots. He's just like, yeah, <laughs> he just sits there locked in, ready to go. We'll see if anyone's taking notes, Joe. The rocker might need to dive into the notebook soon. Because this map five so far has not been competitive. I think Minnesota just trying to slow the pace down, right? You can do that on an offense. Yeah, a little harder to do on the other end. Yeah. Don't have too much of a map presence from Dallas Empire, so they can move up towards the B-bomb. You have one player inside a vent room. Now starting to work his way on up. Krim again gets first blooded, and now Hook's in a tough spot. He's going to need some help from his teammates. And his teammates are there. Illy flies on through towards green. The trade tried to come through for Mason, but he gets taken down. Now it's Illy and Hook. That was a 3v3. You've just got to win if you're Rocker. First step done. Illy down. But with 30 seconds remaining, you still have to work a plant. You've got one player watching the cross and Shotzi. Big win from Assault. Last guy will drop. Rocker had to get around win. Yeah, much needed. They slow it down on offense. They get the picks. Good cohesive push. And, and I think even for, uh, I think for Ilian Shotzi too, like, or Ilian Hook, that was, might have been one when you have the four on three. You could probably try to back up, right? Try to get out of that You scenario. think they were too far committed that, I, well, Hook would have had a tough spot maybe getting out. Yeah, but it, you saw Illy just sort of fly through yeah. green, right? <laughs> That's a little different. A little different. <laughs> Hook was just laying there like, where do I go now? <laughs> Alex, who's been so good There's those smokes this again. weekend, 0 and 4. Just a constant. A lot of B pressure here. Hook, though, he's able to find Silly. That's over from the vent doorway. Nice at, shots from him. Look at Clay. He snuck around. Dallas, just wait. You wait right now if you are Dallas. You do not do anything. You do not die. You wait for Clayster working his way all the way around the map. Can we see? Does Clay have dead silence to work with when he gets in position? No, he does not, but you just wait. It's a free kill. I like this. Now go. Now you go if you're Dallas. Yep. Now you need to set up the pinch. The pinch comes through. Beautifully done by Dallas. And that is going to be it two rounds away. How many times, whether it's been respawn or search, have we talked about Clay being in the crucial position? Clay making the huge play. Here, does it on the flank. 
two more rounds. And Empire are your victors. Yeah, the superstar you would love to have step up on this map. Alex, Alex yeah. 0 5. Talked about the subs. The precedent you have to set. He almost gets caught again, able to stay alive. One player went right by him, though. Illy tried to get aggressive inside of green, but he gets caught. Now it's Hook's turn. That duo. They just keep going, man. They just don't stop. <laughs> yeah, they basically only stop once they're there dead. That's about it. Alex, though, maybe that's the moment he needed to start to heat up. Krim, a world of pain in front of him. Going to have to back out. The crossfire now in from Clay. Clay almost snaps onto the second. But big man advantage now to Rocker. It's all on Krim 6. He's got trophies, no deadly to work with as he crawls his way forward. The challenge in. Can't quite finish it due to the barrel cover from Alex. The bomb will get planted. The double challenge through. Perfect from Rocker. As they stay in it. Yeah, Ily, Ily. I mean, you see the smokes go down in Ilian. Who just fly, man? Trying to find a, some 50-50s that go their way. That round they do not, and Alex gets on the board. A big round for him. Just have to win a defense. It's it's difficult to do. Why is it so hard on this map? Well, it's just the, the positioning of the B-bomb, right? It is not in your favor whatsoever, right? How do you defend it when you have all those crates on your side? You have to control middle of the map, watch the crosses. And once again, Clay, maybe trying to work the late flank. He has to be careful. There's three members here. Do they hear him? Do they hear him? Well, I mean, does he hear them? That's, that's more he important. Did. He just did. The call comes in. But they are flying on through. Four versus four. Oh, he could ruin their day. He's got to go at some point. Not quite to Deddy, but there's the pick. There's the shot. Clay with the patience. Clay with the play. Three versus two for Empire. And now they look for an opening towards this A site. Nice shots by Assault. Yeah, some big ones from Assault. It's massive. Plus two, you, you have number nine. That's Silly who's sort of watching the mid-cross. They know they're going to be committing to this A site now. The young guns versus the vets. It's the matchup could not be more different in this Hello. game. B2. Shotzi, fortunate with the timing. Now all to assault with 30 seconds to go. Can he get the clutch? He just saw one cross. Reams it for a second, but the timing catches him. Fifth round to Empire. Nobody checks the side staircase where Clay has been lurking round after round. Pops out at the best time, finds two kills. All his kills are shooting people in the back. Yeah. You gotta love that. You love that. Line them up, baby. It's one way to make Call of Duty easy. Shooting people not looking at you. One. More around. Hook has been the first blood machine. He has all four for Empire. This time, though, it's Krim. But the end result, another first blood in for Dallas. Bomb going down. Hook up. Who's going to find that player? And I love that he stays alive. Illyus gets a snipe over him. It's all down to the reek tank. It's a 1v3 for Assault. That's it. Assault is down. And with the deep views for Illy and the smile from Shotzi, we have ourselves a new champ. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Dallas Empire, the victors of your Los Angeles Home Series event. Hook did it. Yeah? Hook did it. He did it, man. Hook did it. I'm sure he was stressing after, after about four. Hook did it. We never have to hear it again. He got the win.
And you have to feel for Shotzi and Illy as well. Shotzi obviously taking so much flack at the onset of this year. They're onliners. They can only do it online. They can't get the win on land. And there is the tournament victory. One last look at the stats in Hoop, the nuke. 13 and 5 on the rocker. Yeah, someone had to match him. Someone had to match the pressure he was going to put on Gunrunner, and nobody did. Rambo Reyes, like, yeah, I just joined the team. We went. One what do you one. know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> one for one. Uh, you got to feel great for Alien Shotzi. Oh, baby. Look at those standings. Hey, not, now you can say that Dallas Empire's top there three. There you go, right into the top three. Look at it at the top. Kind of a clear cut top four now with FaZe, Huntsman, Empire, Rocker. And man, you, you think of that E United World Championship team from last year. Now what? Simp and Abizi get the win. RCs get the win. Clay get the win. Just bit by bit, they get the W's. But for Joe and I, that's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed an insane final here at the LA Home Series event. We'll get right over to LVP. Thank you so much, gentlemen. I am on stage right now with the winners of our LA Home Series. Can I please hear you guys go mental for Dallas Empire? Hey. There we go. That's what I like to see now. The man on everyone's mind right now is, of course, Hook. Incredible stuff from you. But everybody wanted you to get this tournament win in Call of Duty, and you've finally done it. How does it feel? I mean, it feels great, and I'm glad I did it with the, like these guys for sure. But yeah, no, I, I'm, I don't know. It feels great, man. It feels really good. I bet it does. I bet it does feel pretty good. And I, you know, I was speaking to Clayster not that long ago on the desk. It feels like, and you guys wanted to go all the way, and that's exactly what you did. I felt like a lot of people underrated you guys. I hadn't seen you play properly against some super hard teams. We just saw you take an insane game here on, on stage in this final. You managed to do it. Clay, I've got, I got to ask you, how are you feeling right now about your team and going forward in this league? I'm just so, so proud of these guys. Like, beyond proud of how Hook and Illy and Shotzi and even a little bit of Krim, how, how they played how they played this weekend, honestly, it just goes to show the potential this team has. And, like, this is their second COD tournament, and we just won it. So that's a pretty good job. That is pretty good. Now, where does it go from here, gents? Like, I've got to know, is this the best that we've seen Dallas Empire at right now? Absolutely not. I mean, that should have been a 3-0. It shouldn't even went to game five. Like, we, all these maps that we lose, this shouldn't even happen. Like, we're expecting a cleaner result. But for now, I mean, we'll enjoy the W. Hey, enjoy the W, you will. Thank you so much, gentlemen, and congratulations. Guys, this is your LA Home Series winner. Give it up for Dallas Empire. Thank you so much, Ellie. It's been a pleasure to be here, and thank you so much for having us all weekend long. That's it, folks. That's all we've got time for here on Sunday. It's been your CDL game day presented by Game Fuel. And until next time, enjoy a bit of Call of Duty. And if you missed any action, it'll all be live on YouTube very, very soon. And there's many more to come. So I'll see you guys next time.
in the short history of the Call of Duty League Home Series Finals, we're going to see a map four. 247, it's madness inside.